What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to mine Neta, which is a token on the Ergo blockchain. The reason you may want to do this is for an additional 22% of revenue added to your Ergo when mining this particular token. You will only be getting paid out in Neta, to be clear. And we'll be covering the tokenomics in a later video. This is just going to be the how to so you can get started on not only Windows, but also Hive OS and then kind of going through that process. We'll cover, of course, as always, the wallet setup in the beginning. So if you already have a wallet set up, you can skip that part and then we'll cover where you can swap it at the end of the video. Let's get into it right after a word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Prime XBT. Prime XBT is an established trading platform that was founded in 2018. Prime XBT offers a unique trading experience with co-vesting, margin trading, and yield accounts. Prime XBT is available on desktop and their new iOS app. Prime XBT is offering a special promotion for those who sign up with my sign up link. Anyone who signs up with the link in the description can receive up to $500 to their margin trading account. Use promo code SONOFATTACK for an additional first deposit bonus of up to $7,000. Terms and conditions do apply. Remember, any form of investing comes with significant risks, so do your own research. A quick disclaimer, when using leverage trading, it comes with extremely high risk, including loss of all funds. Welcome back. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, we're going to be using the Brave browser today. And this is a Chromium based browser. So you will be able to do this on a Chromium based web browser as well if you prefer that. I like to have people utilizing Brave because I am a Brave creator, which means I do get some of the bat token if you guys watch my YouTube videos through Brave, which is kind of nice. That's a whole other topic though. So today we're going to be installing the Nautilus wallet. A link will be in the description below. Not the Nautilus wallet is specifically for Ergo and it functions very similarly, if not exactly like MetaMask. So everything here will be pretty familiar to you. You're just gonna click the add to Brave button or add to Chrome if you're on Chrome. And then you'll get the little pop-up saying, do you wanna add it? And you're gonna click add extension. At this point, the Nautilus wallet will notify you that it's been added. I like to click the little plugins bucket button and then click the Nautilus option. It does have some disclaimers, etc., that you should go ahead and accept if you wish to utilize it and agree with those. At this point, we're going to go ahead and create a new wallet. If you have never created a wallet before, there is no reason for you ever to click restore wallet. So if a guide is telling you to select restore wallet and then providing you a key, it is more than likely malicious. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and click create wallet and just name it. And then you will set a spending password, which I need to make mine at least 10 characters. And this will be your recovery phrase. The recovery phrase should be kept in a secure location. There are options such as, of course, writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it into a physical safe. You could also use some of the steel plates as well, if that's what you prefer. Or you can save it online or on your PC as well in a couple different manners. Make sure that you have your hard drive encrypted if you do choose to do so. This is the least secure way of handling it. You also have the option of some sort of cloud locker service or encrypted cloud like Nord Locker. And then finally, you can utilize a USB drive, which we'll go over that process now. So we're gonna go ahead and copy it. And then we're gonna come down here and open our file explorer. And as you can see here, I have a wallet drive. What you'll want to do is turn on BitLocker by left clicking and then coming down and selecting the turn on BitLocker option. At this point, we're just going to do a less secure way of handling this by doing a password to unlock the drive. You could use a smart card as well. Uh, we can go over that in a different video if you're interested. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this drive encrypted. You'll click through the options. 
You can save it to a Microsoft account if you like, or print the recovery key or save the file. If you have some sort of Azure service and this is a business, you can save to your Azure AD cloud account as well. Just be sure to be safe with all of it. If you do save a key here, like we are doing right now, make sure that you go ahead and put that in another secure location. And we're just going to say encrypt use disk space and compatible mode and start the encryption and let that complete. All right, so now that we have the USB drive encrypted, we're just gonna create a new text file. So we'll right click, select new and select text document. You can name it whatever you like. Obviously, if you name it really clear, someone might know exactly what it is, but we'll just do Nautilus. Open it up, right click and paste the key that we copied earlier into here. And at this point, we'll go back to our Nautilus wallet. A lot of times I like to click the pin button to make sure it stays pinned. We'll do a restore a wallet. We'll name the wallet again. For the recovery, we will have to type it in manually. Remember that if you have created this phrase already, make sure that you've created it yourself. And it's the one that you selected. It will auto-complete them, so you can press enter to complete the auto-complete and click the confirm at this point you'll see we have the asset for ergo which is perfect and that's all we need right now and then for our address it'll be under this receive tab and you can just click this little copy button to copy your address out so the next thing that we're going to need to do is go ahead and get the miner the miner that we're going to be going with today is going to be lol miner version 1.5a this should work for both AMD and NVIDIA GPUs. We're going to go ahead and select the Windows 64 option. And we're just going to save it to the downloads. Now, once the download is complete, what we're going to do is create ourselves a folder. So on the desktop here, you can create wherever you like, but we're just going to say new folder. And we're going to say LOL Miner. And then we're going to go ahead and add an exception. So we need to open our virus and threat protection on Windows 10. And we need to go into our manage settings under virus and threat protection and scroll down to exclusions to add or remove exclusions. You'll get a Windows security notice that you'll need to accept. And then we're going to click add exclusion and we're going to click add folder. And we're going to select the folder that we created on the desktop, say select folder. And at that point, we have something that's going to allow us to basically have the miner installed on the system but also still have our virus protection available. In general, I do not recommend mining on anything that you have any personal data or information on. I go so far as to try to keep my network even separate from any miners because at any point, since these miners do not have any sort of verification going on with Windows for the most part, they will flag as a virus. Now, because we add an exclusion, there could be, of course, malicious software at any given time for any updated miner. So it still is not 100% safe, no matter what anybody ever tells you. At this point, we're going to go ahead and right click and say cut from the LOL miner that we downloaded. Open up the folder that we created the exclusion for, right click and paste into here and then right click and say extract all at this point we have our miner extracted and there should already be a batch file created for ergo it'll be mine underscore ergo we're going to right click that and say edit and we will put in our pool address and our wallet address here now if you guys remember we can go back to our nautilus wallet select the receive code and copy our wallet address here and at that point we will paste it in and over this wallet address then if we would like to name our wallet we can name it here or name our worker excuse me and then we need to go ahead and get the server address so we're going to be utilizing get block because get block is the only option currently available to my Netta. So it's going to be a getblock.io. 
the easiest way to get here in reality is to go to ergo.getblock.io. So we're going to change this here real quick. And we are going to get the server address from going to how to connect. Depending on your location, you'll select your location, whether that be U.S. East, West, or East, or Germany, etc. And we are going to use the low difficulty non-SSL for this particular case. We will paste that into the pool option on the batch file. And then click File and Save. So at this point, we're ready to start the miner. If you are uh, utilizing a light hash rate GPU, make sure you right click and run as administrator. If not, you can just go ahead and double click the batch file that we edited and it will begin to mine. The particular GPU in here right now is the RX 6700 XT. We'll allow it to complete building the data set for Ergo and then we'll go over the connections. So as you guys might be aware what you need to do is head back on over to the ergo dashboard and we will need to get our wallet address we'll go back to our plugin here select the receive address and click copy on the address we will paste that address into the enter your address here slot and then we can press enter and at that point it should start bringing up our information once we've been logging on enough we will need to hit the personal stats tab for it to tell us all of the details. Once you have started mining to get paid out in Neto, what you will need to do is go into your settings button and you will have an option here for sub pool settings. You'll want to click sub pool settings and there's two things you need to do. First of all, you need to get your IP address. That will be your public IP address. To get this, you can just go to whatismyip.org and it will display your IP at the top. Make sure you do not share this with anyone and you can copy that IP out. You will paste that IP into the IP address settings, making sure you remove any spaces before and after the IP. And then you will select the Aneta BTC Smart Pool. And then you will click the Save button. At this point, you should get a notification that your settings are saved and you will begin to get paid out in Neta. I'll show you guys how that looks here in just a second on my main PC. Okay, so now you guys know how to connect via Windows and start mining Ergo and then change the settings within the Get Block Smart Pool to go ahead and start mining Neta. At this point, what you will begin to receive is the Neta token on the Ergo blockchain instead of Ergo. The benefit to this is that you will receive 22% more extra as part of the Neta airdrop for your mining rewards. So if you have mined one block or one ergo, you'll get 1.22 ergo worth of Neta instead. The way you can access these funds is through ergodex.io. So as you can see here, we're on the ergodex.io website. Links will be in the description. We're gonna go ahead and click the launch app option. Now you should have your Nautilus wallet connected and at any given time here, it may ask you to, of course, connect your wallet, which you will need to do. And once your wallet is connected, you'll be able to see your balances. If you want to basically be able to cash out, what you'll need to do is select the token that you want to swap for and make sure that is Neta. To swap to Ergo, which is the only thing really listed on an exchange right now, you want to select to swap to Ergo. At this point, if you want to just swap everything over, you'll click the max button and then go ahead and click the swap button. You'll confirm the swap and your wallet will pop up with a spending password and you'll need to type that spending password in and then click the confirm button. At that point, it'll say transaction submitted and you'll have swapped for ERG. We'll talk about where to liquidate Ergo or erg on a different video, but it's pretty much as simple as that. At this point, we will have the swap transaction go through, and then eventually our ergo balance will update once it has been completed, and that is how we basically get our 1.22 erg back from, of course, the Neta that we've mined. If you want to hold Neta, of course, that's a possibility and you can do that. But right now, it's not a token that's listed on anything except for ergodex.io. 
So let's talk about HiveOS now. HiveOS will be a pretty similar process and most of you all should be familiar with it, but once logged into HiveOS, you'll want to create a new wallet. So you'll go to your wallets page and then you will come in here and click add wallet. You will select the coin as erg. You will type in the address that you get from your Nautilus wallet from the receive tab in the address slot and you will name the wallet whatever you wish and then click create at that point you're ready to create your flight sheet so you'll go to your flight sheets tab you'll select the coin as ergo you'll select the wallet as the wallet you just created you will then go ahead and select the getblock.io and your respective regions and click apply and then you will select the miner. In this case, we are using LOL miner. And then you will just go ahead and type in ergo and create the flight sheet. At this point, you can go to your workers tab, select the worker that you prefer, select the flight sheet, and then click the little button to set the flight sheet off. Once you have done that, if you are on there, you can rewind in the video and set up the get block pool in particular to go ahead and get it up and rolling for mining Neta. So that's pretty much it. That's how to mine Neta on Hive OS as well as Windows and get it all set up utilizing the smart pool on get block. It is increasing in hash rate over there. So that's great news because more blocks are being found, which means it's more likely that you'll get a steady payout of that extra 22%. There are, of course, more details to this that I'll be sharing on my Locals page at sonofatech.locals.com if you want to become a member over there. I have been doing this for a little bit now, and it has been proving out to be more profitable than Ethereum as of right now. Of course, this will change when the difficulty bomb is reset on the 29th of June. And we'll have to reevaluate what we're doing with our farm at that point. As you could tell, when we logged into Hive, I currently have all of my rigs on Ergo. And they are all mining Neta at this time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bells down below if you like this type of content. So that the YouTube algorithm knows to go ahead and give it to you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more or check out this playlist for more crypto content related topics.